Biologist Doug Watson and his research team look over their collection of blue crabs. Watson's study of the species is focused on the animal's molting process, or the shedding of its tough exoskeleton. Molting allows the crab to grow, and before it's new, larger exoskeleton has a chance to harden. The crab is softer and more pliable for a period of hours. And it's in that short window of time when the soft-shelled crab, the newly molted crab, is considered to be a, a delicacy by uh, lovers of seafood. The crab's molting pattern presents a challenge to the $50 million Gulf Coast crabbing industry. The, the soft crab industry in the Gulf states is uh, limited because these freshly molted crabs are available only on a seasonal basis. And what triggers crab molting could revolutionize crabbing operations, creating new jobs. The, the idea is if we could develop methods to uh, control molting, to induce molting, provide soft-shelled crabs on demand, if you will, that there would be an economic benefit to those states that have an existing soft crab industry or that have a potential for a soft crab industry. Watson believes his team is the first to discover the hormone receptor that inhibits molting and will soon test compounds designed to block the receptor and thus induce molting. In vitro in the petri dish, the uh, receptor blocker blocks the effect of molt inhibiting hormone. So what we want to do now is test it in crabs and see if it will induce molting in crabs understanding how crustaceans like the blue crab grow is important and could lead to unexpected and important future findings with still unknown and potentially widespread implications.